hello um talk NCT so Future Friday normally do this a lot earlier but we have been in self-isolation this week my eldest has a temp and you will know that since Monday um Monday evening the NCT sent out an email to say no face-to-face -face support uh, with immediate effect. So what that means is that there's no sling library, there's no feeding support, and NCT head office are working to put all of the antenatal support online so that those people that really need the help are going to get it. What that doesn't mean is that you should stop using your slings or um, not get some support. So I also run the sling consultancy. I have the sling consultancy community on Facebook so feel free to join there if you want some help with your slings if you want to I can do online consultations which are really a great way to help you with um, with something or if you want to look at some slings that we have in the library um, I can show them there um, obviously the situation is changing kind of daily and so whilst many sling libraries are planning to do sort of doorstep hires whilst we're going through self-isolation then that's not appropriate. So once we come out of that, depending on the situation next week, then I may be able to offer doorstep hires for slings again. Um, but we'll have to wait and see because obviously it's such a changeable um, situation at the moment. So yeah, really difficult for everybody and challenging times and just to really focus on what you can control. So carrying your baby at this point is really, really useful because if you're struggling because you can't go out when you normally would, um, if your baby normally sleeps sort of in the pram or the buggy and they're not stepling, perhaps try a sling if you haven't before. Um, we have discount codes and we can give you lots of different discount codes for many different retailers. And you can buy online because obviously many places it's still open online to, to, to buy things from, even though perhaps um, stores are likely to be closing um, other than things like supermarkets etc so just really to say focus on what you can do what you can control and what you can proactively do and to focus on this time because actually if you've just had a baby it's a really useful time to just go in and to focus on you and your baby and just developing that relationship with your baby um, and just to focus on just being rather than doing um, because that's not we don't know where things are going to change and how things are going to go you know if you can put your baby in a sling and just walk around your garden or you can um, put them in a sling so you can do some things that you want to get done for your mental health then that's absolutely a possibility um, and actually using slings is really good for your oxytocin and so cortisol is the stress hormone which we're probably all up here with at the moment and oxytocin through skin to skin, through touch, through the smell of our babies, um, it relaxes us and it counteracts our, our cortisol. So by carrying and supporting and cuddling your children and your babies, you will hopefully find that that reduces your stress levels and also reduces the stress levels of your baby because often babies feed off what we're feeling. And so if we are feeling really, really stressed, babies will feel really, really stressed as well. Lots of stress is not great for babies' brain development because their brains in the first, you know, first four months and, and onwards are really still building those foundations. And so we want to keep cortisol low um, as possible. And so again, a really good way to do that is skin to skin, holding them close to you. And again, you can do that with a sling or just in arms. Um, both of those ways work just as well. So today, I'm just going to show you how to do um, some shoulder flips on a stretchy wrap. So what I'm gonna do is pop my middle marker on. Now stretchy wraps are a really great way to carry your babies. I've got videos and they're on the NCT Facebook page showing you how to do this. I'm just gonna really quickly do this. So we're creating a cross on our back and then we're gonna put this through here. Now I can give discount codes and help you if you want to buy a stretchy wrap. These um, they vary in price. Hi, how are you? <laughs> um, yeah, they vary in price. So there's lots of different types out there. They're um, all pretty pretty similar, but do behave slightly differently. So let me know if you want some codes for some stretchy wraps. 
because these are the sorts of things that are relatively cheap for you to go and buy online and we can help you with whichever one that you buy. It's fit matters a lot, lot more when it comes to your buckle carriers. And so they're the ones that are typically a lot more expensive in the current climate. Um, you know, it's good to, to start with your stretchy wrap because you, they're, they're, they're one size fits all. You just tie it and you can pop baby in and out as much as you like. So they're much more flexible to use they're, and they're way, way cheaper. So would suggest um, trying one of those. So cross at the front, cross at the back. We're gonna get our baby. They're gonna go on the top of the top one. I'm gonna support with the back of my arm. With my free hand, I'm gonna stroke the collarbone and move the sling rather than the baby and just guide that into the knee pit like that. We don't wanna to have to move our baby a lot. We're gonna try and move the baby as least as possible, move the sling. So again, it's the back of the hand like this is much easier than to grab and pull because it's just an odd angle with it at the wrist. So back of the hand and move it into the knee pit. And at this point, let your baby sit down into the sling. Now for shoulder flips, you can do it two different ways. So this way, what we're gonna do is when we spread our passes or our cross, what we're going to do Whereas normally we just spread, spread, and then do a shoulder flip, which I'll show you secondary. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our outer edge, and we're gonna push our outer edge under, and we're gonna create our shoulder flip here. Because what this will do is it will stop that airway from getting blocked at this point. Some people will prefer to do it the other way, but this way you've got your cap sleeve, You've got your baby supported into the knee and then you can do the same on this side so what you do is you get your outer edge this bit here your outer hem if you can find it mine's just gone twisted what you're going to do run your fingers so you can just get that outer hem there in mine and push it in and then spread it from there all the way over like that okay so then what happens yeah, yeah, it does make a difference, little things. And so here we've got our shoulder flips already happening before we've completed. And then we go to our rib, you find your third layer, and you bring it up and over baby's legs. So it's a really good way to do your shoulder flips before when you're spreading your passes. And so the other way that you can do your shoulder flips, if we take these side bits back, and then what you would normally do is just spread from your nearest, from your from your um, your neck here, spread that all the way over. See, this is what we want to avoid. <laughs> Pull your third layer up. So this is what we're trying to avoid: is their face being covered, okay? And also with the cross, you want to support up to the nape of the neck. But what's going to happen is it really restricts their vision. And so you can move your outer edge out like this. Just being mindful that you don't want to disturb this, but often that will restrict your shoulder more and it can pop back up. So a good way to do that is to go underneath with your hand, grab with your thumb, and just roll it back out. Use your other hand. So that's the other way to do your shoulder flip. So you're doing it after. In top baby's head. Check they're in a lovely pelvic tilted position. And that is your shoulder flip. So that's your two ways to do it. You can do it as you're spreading your passes, or you can do it like this. Obviously, sometimes what will happen is then baby might turn this way, and now their face is covered, which is not ideal. We need to be able to see their face because we want to be able to know that they're breathing. So go underneath, grab the edge with your thumb, and twist. So that's the other way to do your shoulder flips. Again, you've not lost your two layers of support there, your third layer up and over. Okay. So that is how you do your shoulder flip. Babies often then can see a lot more as well. So you might find they get less frustrated, certainly as they get older and they're more alert and awake when they're in the sling. Um, as they're even older, you can let them have their arms out because again, they have got a huge amount of visibility once they have got that torso control um, and that sort of upper body control, you can absolutely let them have their arms out or maybe just one arm out, maybe both arms out. Totally depends on your baby and their development. So that is how you do your shoulder flips with your stretchy wrap. Um, any questions this evening? Over on Instagram. Yeah, do you know what? It's been really hard actually this week. We're just adjusting to being, obviously being at home 
to all of us. I'm used to them not being here and being able to go live and do my work when they're not here and then adjusting things like that. Um, husband is now working from home. We're all adjusting to being in the house all together. Um, and it just means I haven't had mental space or physical space to think about things. And so maybe haven't been as visible um, on social media and you know everyone's just hunkering down and focusing on themselves and their families which you know is, is what we need to do at the moment we also need to realize that people are still having babies people are still needing support and it, you know we are going to try and help in the ways that we are able to currently and we are trying to be really adaptable to the climate that we have to find ourselves in so obviously it's changing all the time and so this week I know many sling libraries might be still being able to do face-to-face one-to-one stuff um, and as time goes on that may well change um, but there is lots that we can help you with and just reach out if you're finding the sling that you've got isn't working for you if you're finding something really uncomfortable often it's small little tweaks that can make a big difference with using slings so for example the shoulder flip makes a big big difference here um, you know, checking you've got the pelvic tilt correct makes a big difference. All these things can make a big difference to how the sling feels and how it fits your body. Um, and so there's lots of tips and tricks that we can help you with. So please, please, please just reach out because it's absolutely crucial in times of, of sort of trauma and stress and trouble that we can absolutely help in any way that we possibly, possibly can. Um, so yeah, absolutely do reach out. Um, join the Sling Consultancy community, DM me, let me know what what you need. Um, because we need to keep our babies close because it's really important for their brains and it really helps us with our mental health after we've had babies as well. And there's just so much stress going on right now. So just, um, yeah, just focus on what you can control and the things that you can do. Um, and hopefully we'll see how we go. Uh, be back the next week on Top Tip Tuesday in the community. Um, we might try doing sort of like a live sling library session. We'll see. It's all going to be obviously a little bit fluid depending on how things go. So I hope everybody uh, stays safe and take care. Any questions, let me know.